from the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York. Welcome to beautiful City Field. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball on the show. Next. Rafael Montero is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, Matty, remember last year he had an ERA in the low threes. Very dependable, very consistent. One of the most reliable pitchers in the game. Adam Eaton heads for the batter's box, and we are just about Eating ready for some evening zone. baseball. Center fielder, Adam Eaton. First pitch tonight is looked at for strike one as we get underway at 7 11 p.m. EK these Mets as they enter play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. And it's been a great start to the season for them so far. They've started to open up their lead here in the division, and they've really been one of the best teams in baseball here early on. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. 0 2, here it comes. And another foul ball. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh. And a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1 and 2 now. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Time now for Robin Ventura's Chicago White Sox starting lineup. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? This team has to find a way to hit more balls into the gaps and get some big extra base hits. They hit into more double plays than any other team in baseball, and as you know, that's going to take the wind out of your sails. Avisail Garcia will stand in now following that seven-pitch at-bat to begin the ballgame. If he was smart, he would have gotten a pretty good look at all seven of those pitches from that on-deck circle. That tails back over, strike one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. Well, I think Summersgill is pretty well-liked as an umpire, but if he gets any gruff, it seems like it's often coming from right-handed batters on pitches they don't yeah, think ball, they can reach. Straight. I'm curious if we'll see any of that in this one. Here it comes on one and one. One, one and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, we have an opportunity to watch David Wright at third base in this one. Still a very dependable third baseman. But not quite the third baseman he was early on in his career. He's had physical limitations over the last few years, but still one of the better ones in the game. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And there you see the home run leaders we touched on a moment ago.
And he falls behind 0 and 2. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Well, strikeout, strikeout single here to start the ball game. It was looking like he breezed through the top of the first inning, but not so fast. Renee Lockett will stand in, and as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against the southpaws than he does against right-handers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. A runner on first with two away. Squared that one up just a little late. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. A man left for the White Sox. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. John Danks gets the ball for the White Sox in this one. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, you take a look right here. Right-handed hitters are hitting less than 250 against him. He's had his way with him. There you see as Drubal Cabrera loosening up as he'll start us out in the home half of the first. Up for the Mets, the shortstop has Drubal Cabrera. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Douglas comes up with it and a rather easy first out. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I think you still have to look out for David Wright. He is such a clutch hitter for this ball club. His average with runners in scoring position is up over 400 on the year. So expect him to cash in if he gets a chance. David Wright will dig in. Currently fifth in the National League in batting to begin play. Yeah, and he leads his ball club in hitting. So he's a guy that they really look to offensively. Thanks gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. And Eric, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And it's been a less than amazing start to the road trip, too. They've won just one of their first four games, so they'll be looking to turn that around here. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. On 0-2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 1-2. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. And when he's down 0-2, He's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Swing and a miss as it's dropped behind the plate. Bench has it, but it's not in time. And he'll reach first despite going down on strikes. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Basil Padilla will stand in, and as you can see, his home and road splits there. He's been a much better hitter away from home. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. 
And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there. And he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Turned on down the line. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. With a moment now, let's take a look at the White Sox defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, Jose Abreu coming from Cuba, everybody knew about what he could do at the plate offensively. But he's also making a name for himself defensively. He's made some incredible highlight reel plays. Now, a manager doesn't need his first baseman to be the greatest defensive player of all time. He just needs him to be reliable. And Abreu is just that. First delivery to him on the way. Yoannis Cespedes stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Such a good pitch right there. That first pitch changeup. When you can tell a guy's up there all amped up to hit, use that against him. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. I think he's set up for that changeup again, Steve. Don't you? I was thinking the same thing. Two out with the man at first. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Met strand one. After one, no score. Connor Gillespie will get his first opportunity here, Leading and that average is certainly not Very where he expensive. wants it, down in Connor the 220s to begin the ball game. Hey, you never know. Things might be looking up for this guy. He's hitting over 300 in his last 10 games, even though his season average doesn't look that good. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. To ball. two balls and two strikes now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Don't Four quite count. know where Three that two. one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Tommy Douglas waits on deck. Swing and a liner, but this will be a foul ball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, it's been something of a strikeout fest here to start this Second game off. Baseman. Already four Tommy strikeouts now Douglas. in the first five batters. Now, that's going to be a tough pace to keep up. Standing in now, Tommy Douglas. Shot towards second. And that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. I tell you, that one's coming in fast, but it's going out faster. Does he square this one up or what? You bet he does. Into the box now. Clay Bench. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. 
Cespedes is after it. He gets to it, and oh, he botched it. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. Bernard Means. Bernard Means will stand in one for four with a double in yesterday's ball game. When you're hitting under 200 on the season, you've got to come up with a good performance every once in a while, and yesterday was one of those. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Chop foul right at home plate. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting ninth, the pitcher John number. Danks will stand in John with a chance to help Danks. himself out big time here with a couple of men in scoring position. And a lot of times, pitchers go up there just because they sort of have to. But here, if you go up and just think ground ball up the middle, you might get one home, maybe two. So this is a big-time chance. He's set. Here it comes. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Now here on the mound, you cannot take it easy on the pitcher here with two outs. He can still bloop one in there and drive home two, so you need to be thinking strikeout all the way. No score here as we play inning number two. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. And you know, in this ballpark, you get guys second and third, you've got to take advantage, especially early on. These chances might not come all that often. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. White Sox strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Robertson strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Garcia. One out. Yeah, jumping on the first pitch of the Andrew. inning there. Gave it a pretty good Andrew. ride, but in the oh, end, no. winds up being a pretty routine first out. Into the box, Travis Darno. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Very weakly on the ground. That rolls foul for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Here's a high pop-up. Bench has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting seven. But here's that swing Center again. Fielder. This is in show motion. Juan. And uh, Juan you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Juan Ligares will stride forward now, looking to keep that hit streak alive. Currently at six games entering play. Danks into the windup. First pitch on the way. Out in front of it, strike one. Two out, nobody on. That misses that wide. Down. One ball and one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Ooh. 
Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Adam Eaton is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Up next for Chicago, right fielder, Avisail Garcia. Avisail Garcia is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Fastball's too high here, 1-0. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. That evens it up, one and one. Third inning, no score to this point. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. That's going to even up the count at two and two. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and that average, it'll climb a few more points. Jose Abreu is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. And he misses with it one and one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Runner at first here, one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. A ball and two strikes, here it is. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. As you can see right here, his timing just seems to be off a little bit at the plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the bases. Into the box, Rene Rocket, as he lines this one out to center. Ligaris under it and he makes the catch for out number three White Sox leave one home half of the third coming up no score Neil Walker will stride in now back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game Neil Walker Tanks is ready here comes the first pitch now a pitch runs in on him here and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side Oh and one here it comes. Next pitch chop foul right at home plate and he's behind nothing in two now. Good change up in the dirt strike three and he makes the throw to first Walker is retired and there's one away. Batting nine. And with our season just about one-third of the way through, here's a look at the upcoming schedule into the first week of June.
Stepping in, Rafael Montero, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. And after another swing and miss on a pitch out of the zone, I think it's time to start taking a different approach. Yeah, they've fallen behind way too easy, haven't they? Hey, you're just not going to have a lot of success when you're always behind in the count. He's Throw out. in time at first for route number two. Hey, if you like a good pitcher's duel, it looks like we've got one brewing right here. Two outs now in the bottom of the third, and both of these guys look like they have their good stuff. As Drupal Cabrera will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First pitch coming, here it is. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. <laughs> if he would have swung at that, he would have never heard the end of it. This one skied out toward right. Garcia is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So a fine half inning of work turned in by John Danks. Still nothing, nothing. Connor Gillespie is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet, so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. First pitch of the at-bat. Ground ball left side. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting second baseman Tommy Douglas. Tommy Douglas will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch on its way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. 2-0. Oh, inside. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. In there, and it's even now. Two and two. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. Set to deal on two and two. Grounded to the right. Walker has it. The spin throw gets him at first. Nicely done for the second out. Now batting. And so pitcher. after getting the ground ball Play. with the fastball Pace. on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see both guys bringing it pretty good in this one. 95 on one hand, 92 on the other. Clay Bench, the hitter now, 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game, so let's see if he can come through with that one right here. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0 and 2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Heading out towards shallow right. Vinson is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. The former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. 
And there now is David Wright. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Third baseman, David Wright. And Danks will get ahead with the fastball for strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Danks has his target, 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. And he pumps the fastball by him here, 1-2 and two now. Well, nothing fancy, three fastballs so far in this at-bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. All right, let's give you a better look here at this four-pitch sequence on show track. You'll see him get ahead early by working the outer half of the plate. All three pitches on the outer half. Then they come on the inner half for pitch number four, and he's got no answer. Stepping in now, Basil Padilla. As he'll take a look at ball one. Just missing here, 2-0. Oh. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Three oh, and 0 oh now. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2-0. and oh. Now it's 3-0, and, oh and the tide is not working in his favor. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. And oh, that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Still no hits on the ledger, but at least they get themselves a base runner here. And that's a step in the right direction. Yoannis Cespedes comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometime. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Just because he's thrown five straight balls doesn't make this an automatic take, especially if for a guy in this part of the lineup. One and zero pitch on the way, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero, and on two and zero, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. There's a strike. It's two and one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. First and second now after the walk. And they haven't gotten much going offensively against this guy at all. So this is about as good an opportunity as they've had. Robert Vinson is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. 
Well, at least he was able to get it into the outfield, and that's more than most of his teammates can say so far. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. The cutter oh. runs outside, ball one. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. The 1 0 delivery. Eight. Fastball at 88 that time, a ball and a strike. Even though that's a strike, that's still not a bad take because you're facing a guy that's already walked a few guys, so make him throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. Ah, changed One things ball. up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Yeah, it's so hard to stay back against a guy like this. Unless you guess right, that thing's just so slow that it's almost impossible to keep from getting out on your front foot. Now a look and a throw back Six. to second, and the runner will get back standing. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. And I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? A throw behind the runner at second, just keeping him close. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. 3-2. Travis Darno is on deck. Fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around third and being waved on home. And the run is in to score from second. Good A.B. right there. One out double there. Gets him a run. And now, with runners on second and third, another base hit can make this a big inning. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Set and the 1 0 pitch. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Uh, his pitch count is really spiked here in the inning. He's up over 50 already. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3-0 game. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see. And he was right on that one.
Here's Juan Ligares. As this is on the ground, softly down to third. They'll force it up to second, and they do oh, get the it? out there. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Boy, and that's just a tough turn at second as they go around the horn. Now, he's got to hang in there because he knows he's going to get upended. And in the end, they wind up getting just the force on the lead runner. Here's Neil Walker. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. going to find the seats strike one he's set here comes the one one hit on the ground to short throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired so they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning no errors and a runner left we played four full it's the Mets three and the White Sox nothing Leading off the inning, Bernard Means, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Hot shot on the ground is short. Backhanded. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Into the box now, John Danks. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. Ball First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Sneaks a fastball one one. by him at the letters. It's one and one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. And a half-hearted yep. attempt that time as you broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Wow, he's using that fastball to devastating effect out there now. So he gets another out here. That's seven in a row now he's set down. Adam Eaton will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Aye. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Checked a swing there and pops this one up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Chopped foul at the plate and he stays alive, still 0-2. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. Still down, three nothing. Rafael Montero. 
come in now to lead things off against our starter, who probably wishes he had a mulligan to use on that last inning. Yeah, he was doing just fine up until the last time he took the mound. He's got to hope that that was just an aberration, or he might not stick around to see another inning. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Too high, 1-0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Now it's 2-0. and oh. I got to think he's going to leave the bat on his shoulder again here, even 2-0. and oh. This approach hasn't been too sharp so far to lead off the inning. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Boy, and this is why you're trying to get yourself into good hitters counts. This is just right down the middle on two and oh. And swinging at this should be your reward. But he decides to let it go. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. And he three. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Oh, and that's a nice comeback from down in the count, 2-0. and oh. He doesn't panic. He doesn't just start laying pitches in there. He had a good plan to start with, and then he executed that plan all the way through the at-bat. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He'll pop this one fouled off to the left, and it's strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. And here's a guy that needed a quick inning after giving up three runs the last time around. He's got the first two outs here. He's looking a lot more determined out there now. David Wright will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game. And you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. And that's in there for strike one. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Two out, nobody on. Up high, two and one now. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Well, he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at-bats. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Garcia. Still going back. Gone! So a solo shot here for David Wright. Home run number five on the year. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. Well, he was 0 for 2 with two strikeouts coming into the at-bat, but he takes out some frustrations on that swing. He got every bit of that one. Basil Padilla will stand in now following the home run, and you wonder if that losing streak is about to go by the wayside. Well, they're not home yet, but certainly this has been a much better performance than we've seen out of him for a while now. 
So all signs seem to be pointing to a potential victory. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Normally that two seamer has a lot more movement to it. You know, it's been pretty straight for him in this one and he's gotten into trouble because of it. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight judging by this bunch. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Avisail Garcia will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the inning that it needs to start happening. High and ball tight here time. to begin the inning. It's ball one. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch. Something to get a base runner and give that guy something else to think about out there. Now a fastball for a cold strike. It's one and one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Late making contact on that swing, and will do it again on one and two. One and two, here it comes. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Matt Slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Jose Abreu will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. This guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle innings now, so you know he's doing well. And it's quickly 0-2. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Shot back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Yeah, that's his second hit so far. He's got two of their four hits, so... At least he's seeing the ball well. Rene Lockett will dig in now. He struck out and lined out in his first two at-bats. Yeah, he hit that ball pretty hard on the line out. He just couldn't get it to fall for him. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To Cabrera for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Roberto Murphy will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the six. Number eight, Roberto Murphy. Yoenis Cespedes will dig in now as he'll lead things off for the Mets in their half of the sixth. Yoenis Cespedes. 
Pérez. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Two times here they've gone away, both pretty easy takes. And as a hitter, now I'm thinking it might be time they try to bust something inside. Three and oh now. One thing that man right there will not tolerate, leadoff walks. Especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. And no doubt about this one, it's in there, three and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on two and oh. Set. Here's the 3 1. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. One away. Now, oh. and when you're right. ahead in the count, I mean, this is all about Vincent. bailing a pitcher out and doing him a favor. He'll take the pop up there. That's a gift. Striding into the box, Robert Vinson. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Oh, look, if I'm calling the game, I would have gone right back outside and see if you could get him to go after another pitch out there. Bases are empty, one man out. That's no offer on that one, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Travis Darno waits on deck. fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton's able to put this one away, and that's out number two. Now, now once the sun Catcher. goes down here, this place Rabbit. plays like a much different oh, ballpark. No. Case in point right there. That ball had no carry whatsoever. Travis Darno will stride in, popped out and singled in his two trips. Yeah, and he made just a little adjustment last time coming off of that pop-up the first time around, and he got himself a base knock. That's what the good ones do. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. You know what guy throws hard when his change-up's at 89. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it four to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Connor Gillespie is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. And so far in this one, they're still getting Connor shut out. So Gillespie. this leadoff at bat could be huge if he can just get on base because they've been held in check all game. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2.
Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And taken in out there for the first out. How about Worth it? a look at his pitches by inning so far. You can see he's up to 80 for the game right now, so he should still be in pretty good shape. Tommy Douglas will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. He's now thrown a first pitch strike to about 80% of the batters he's faced, and that is that is just pounding the strike zone. He's pitching so well, and this game's getting late. High and deep to right center field. Back goes Lagares to the track. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. Well, this is a home run swing, and it looked like he thought he had one off the crack of the bat. But this place, not exactly known for being a home run haven, and this ball dies out there on the warning track. In now, Clay Bench. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so... He's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Yeah, and about the only drawback you have it? to having so many strikeouts is that it really runs that pitch Beans. count up. And you can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now. So he may be getting just a little bit tired. Bernard Means will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Just a little off on his earlier swings, guys. You've got to keep that top hand palm up through contact to keep ball. him rolling over. Ball one, no He'll strikes. hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Slapped hard the opposite way. In there, a base hit. Maybe a chance here to put a dent into that scoreboard That's after right. all. This gives him a couple guys on base now here in the late going. And at the very least, another hit here could be enough for them to avoid the shutout. Robert McClelland will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 15, Robert McClelland. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Two down, runners at first and second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking to keep the shutout intact. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more on this Monday night after this.
Ronald Belisario will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Ronald Belisario. Juan Ligares stands in. He'll try to improve in this at bat after grounding into a fielder's choice his last time up. And that swung on and missed for strike one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while. And when he does, you can forget it. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Yeah, a couple of mid-90s fastballs, and he hasn't been close on either one of them. Way outside. One and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And here's the ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Certainly in this streak, he's had a lot of those opportunities come late in ball games, but he extends it again with another clutch base hit. Digging in, Neil Walker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Nope. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Not close, it's 2-0. Oh. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2-1. and one. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Hit hard up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. Oh, and that's a nice job there in center field to come up throwing. And you see him square his body up to the target, and he puts this throw right on the money to get his man trying to take third. Curtis Granderson will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number three, Curtis Granderson. Pitch is popped up. Means camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Uh, popping it up is bad enough, but doing it on the first pitch... You know, and out of the zone to boot. I mean, this just is not a good A-B. I can tell you that. As Dribble Cabrera will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Yeah, guys, not really providing the spark that they usually hope to get out of him. Maybe he can make something happen right here. Into the seats, 0 and 1. <laughs> Left side. Oh, look at Gillespie. The throw. And from his knees, he got him. Boy, all arm there as the side is retired. 
Mets leave one, but they're in front four to nothing. Addison Reed will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Addison Reed. Leading off the inning, Adam Eaton. The and Sox. they'll need him to get Center something Fielding. going here. Adam and so far Eaton. in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet. So we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Reed sets. Here he comes 0-1. 1-1. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. And this has been his problem all night long. Just keeps going after pitches that he should be watching. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's a rough night at the ballpark here. Third strikeout. One thing you can't do, though, you can't go into that dugout hanging your head. You got to think, hey, it's over. I'll get another shot to redeem myself. Whether that's tonight or, or sometime in the future, that's the attitude you have to have. Avishail Garcia comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now, you can't take any more pitches like that. You don't like it? You got to at least try and fight it off. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive, and will do it again on 0-2. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing your approach at the plate. you got to shorten up a little bit and just look to put the ball in play. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Well, that's a hat trick for him now. His third strikeout in the game. And I think the one thing you don't want to do you don't want to go down looking that's almost like admitting your beat that's a sinking feeling in that guy's stomach there Jose Abreu will stand in now with two away needing to really get something started here and their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter first offering on its way he slaps that one away and the count will be nothing in one hit hard back up the middle and that's in there for a base hit his third hit of the game oh yeah he's got that magic wand going now that's his third hit in four trips all of them singles he's been a tough out all game long Rene Rocket will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. From the stretch. In there at the knees, strike one. A runner on first with two away. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Ready with the 0-2. 
Hit hard, but fouled toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. A man left for the White Sox. They trail here four to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Wright. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, and he hit a changeup, so we'll see if he sees that pitch again. He didn't really crush it, but he got enough of it to get it out of here. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Here's a fly ball now lifted in the air out to right, and that'll get down for a base hit. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow... He's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Some action now in the White Sox bullpen. They'll stand up a lefty and a right-hander to throw. Into the box now, Basil Padilla. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. And right about now, you got to know as a hitter that you're going to see a heavy dose of that splitter. That's a good take up there to get ahead. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Well, should be 2-0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One one. Oh, and he sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee-high to ankle-high in the matter of about five feet. Nobody out, runner on first. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. To two and two now. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in there. Well, anybody who calls this place home will tell you, this is not a home run hitting part. But it will give up its share of doubles. And this one moves runners to second and third now as they're looking to cash in. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Now he's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Hits are even at seven apiece. This is in the air to right. Garcia on the run. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly, so it's now a 5-0 game. And at this point, every added run just makes it more and more likely that they're going to get out of here with a victory. They tack on one more here on the sacrifice fly. Javi Guerra will get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. Robert Vinson will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 6-0 ball game. Well, that's a funny part about baseball. Every day brings you a new game. Yesterday, these guys looked lost. Couldn't buy a run. Tonight, they've got runs coming out of their ears. Travis Darno gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Low with a fastball here. In the dirt even. It's ball one. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball. One and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Yeah, an interesting setup now on two and two. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy at first. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And sometimes it doesn't quite matter how hard a thrower a guy is. Fielder, if he can locate, five. he's going to be wow. successful. Wow. The location here is absolutely spot on. Right on the inside corner. That's a tough, tough pitch. Throw over to first, he's and down. the runner back easily. Keeping him close. Here's Juan Ligares as he'll go after the first pitch and send a ground ball down to third. Throw to second for the force out and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors and a runner left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets six and the White Sox nothing. Now beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Jerry's Familia will come in now, now working with a huge lead, Number so he'll just look to get some work in here. Connor Gillespie will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. Yeah, and whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Oh, that one got the pitcher. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Now batting, second baseman, Tommy Douglas. Well, show motion's going to give us another look at this ball coming back at him, man. Oh, boy. You just don't have any time to react to something coming that quickly. And he's lucky he's all right. Standing in now, Tommy Douglas, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Smoked on the ground left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Yeah, and plenty of hits now here so him. far, but not Can't a lot to show for it in the run Play. column. Maybe yeah. this can help turn that around as they get a man on here with just one away. 
play bench gets another crack right here he's got a hit in three tries to this point that's yanked into the stand strike one the 0 and one delivery Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. When a guy like this on the mound has got you down 0-2, that's a tough hole to climb out of. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Oh, and that's a sweet pitch right there. You know, on the mound, there's very few things that can happen negatively with this location. I mean, you're either going to swing and miss, you foul it off, or you hit it into the ground where it becomes a double play. But I'm sure on the mound, you'll take the strikeout. Stepping in now, Bernard Means. Yeah. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Ah, uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And that turns out to be a great start to this series for these guys as they take game one here in front of the home crowd. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he definitely turned in the standout performance in this one. He finishes with an even 10 strikeouts, and he was instrumental in leading his guys to the victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Mets come out on top, six to nothing. Good night from Flushing.